Hello and welcome to another episode. Today I'm presenting the histogram. If you have ever been into the menus on your camera, you've probably seen a function called a histogram. Or if you have bumped into one of the buttons on the rear of your camera, you might accidentally have changed the view on your screen to a little image with a lot of information around it. In the first episode, I talked about the exposure value equation. And the histogram is actually based on this. When you point your camera towards something, you will see that the histogram changes. And the histogram is actually based on the light available in your scene. A histogram can be divided into five parts. On the far left side, you will find the blacks. Then goes the shadows. And in the midsection, you will find the midtones. And on the right side, you will find the highlights. And on the far right side, you will find the whites. If you have a look at the common photo editing tool, you will find these same sliders where you are capable of actually adjusting your histogram or adjusting the image. A scene might have as much as 20 EV, which means that a camera got to have a dynamic range of 20 to be able to capture the whole scene. Most cameras have somewhere between 12 and 14 in dynamic range, which means that you will lose some information when you try to capture that scene. The histogram will actually tell you this. So if there is a spike in the left side of the histogram, there are information in the shadows that you will lose. If there is a spike in the right side of the histogram, there are light areas in the scene that you will lose. So what can you do to be able to capture a scene? For instance, a sunset or anything where you have shadows and where you have a lot of light. You don't necessarily need to capture the whole dynamic range based on what kind of expression you want on your image or on your final image, you should adjust so that either the shadows or the light areas will be captured as you want it. There are methods to capture the whole dynamic range with a camera that haven't the capability of capturing the whole dynamic range available in the scene, but that's another story. I really hope that you learned something about the histogram in this episode and that you are going to pick that histogram up when you are going out in the field to capture some images. Till next time, go out there and grab those images.